So you know how everyone tells you that in order to be a software engineer, you have to learn to code. That coding is the most important skill. In today's video, we're going to be looking at why coding might not just be the most important skill and other skills that should not be overlooked. Hey there, I'm Chi and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. And don't forget to click the red button down below to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. So in today's video, we're talking about the hype around coding. We're questioning if coding is the most important skill as a software engineer. A lot of people, when they begin their journey to becoming a software engineer, they dive into learning how to code. They, uh, you know, learn multiple languages, Python, JavaScript. Well, JavaScript is JavaScript is a very popular one. A lot of people start from there because it's web development and you can start to put out websites and just start to see a little bit of your work coming to life. Um, so yeah, they dive into learning multiple languages, different features of these languages. It's a lot of coding that's involved, which is great. Let's look at what programming means. According to Wiki, it says here, Computer programming is the process of telling a computer to do certain things by giving it instructions. These instructions are called programs and the person who writes instructions is a computer programmer. Coding aka programming is writing a set of instructions for the computer to carry out and perform certain functions. But the thing is you have to first of all figure out the set of instructions that you want to give to the computer. The programming language is just a tool to think about the problems that you want to solve and how you're going to go about solving it. For instance, just because you can write an English language does not make you the next R.L. Stein or J.K. Rowling. English language is the tool of communication. To be a writer, you have to first of all, think about the artistic story or perspective that you want to convey to people and then implement that with a tool. English language or French or whatever the language is. That is the same way it is in software engineering. Programming language is just a tool. The actual writing of code is just the process of giving that instructions. You have to first of all, figure out the instructions. You have to first of all, think about the problems and the issues. What are you trying to say? And then write it in code. I know it's very commonly said, problem solving, critical thinking, but it's very important. More important than you think when it comes to implementing software. And that's why when you go on interviews, they give you some sort of scenario or a case study. They want to understand how your thinking process is. They want to understand how you're able to problem solve. Although they're really, they will look at your code and how clean it is. And if you're following the best practices, but they also want to see how you thought about the best solution that you have come up with and how you're going to go about implementing it before then you transfer it to code. Also, it's no secret that a lot of developers, when they get stuck, they go on this online forums like Stack Overflow to put out the confusions there and let people, you know, give them their own perspective. But look, if you don't even know what the problem is, if you don't even know what you're trying to do or what you're trying to implement in code, how can other people help you? Another great skill is the ability to research. Research, research, research. After you have thought about the approach you want to take to solving an issue and before you start writing any actual code, it's good to take some time to research. Research the tools that might be helpful to you and also research ways that other people People might have implemented that same solution. There's something someone told me one time and that is the best code is the code that we did not write. There are so many libraries out there that can help your life, that can make life easy for you when you're implementing. And you would never really know about this if you don't take time to learn about these things. Also reading documentation. I think this falls under research skills. There are a lot of things that you can learn from reading documentation of the tools that you're using. You better understand how to manipulate these tools. Also understand why some things don't work the way you might expect it to. Well, this is just my perspective at the end of the day. I feel like people should focus as much energy on these other skills as they do on learning to code. Just to reiterate, I'm not saying that you don't need to learn to code to become a software engineer. Hell, you have to do that. I'm just saying that it's put on a pedestal 
and there are other skills that are very very important that people don't talk about look at most senior software engineers they barely code coding is like manual labor that's left for um, junior engineers and they still get paid 10 times more because at the end of the day companies are looking for people that can solve problems for them so I want you to take a second and comment down below what do you think is coding the be all and all I love reading your comments and hearing from everyone if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with your friends and click on the red button down below to subscribe you can connect with me on all my socials IG and Twitter and I will see you in the next video.